Okay, so I'm in a week about, about now, about a week. I've been working on this Noritsu. And what do we got here? We got all the upper turn guides and a couple of the racks sitting in a bowl, soaking. Clean it up pretty nicely. Still need a couple more goings over. I got the tops of the recirculation wells all in a stainless steel pan for cleaning and uh, you know, more racks. They um, can't be cleaned with brushes in all of the places. You have to be careful not to scratch the film pad. Anyway, here's the main beast. As you can see, things are looking a lot cleaner. No more crystal caverns going on down there. Lots of soak and rinse, soak and rinse, soak and rinse. Here is a recirculation well that's been cleaned. Here's one that's not so clean, although this is a color developer well, and I have a good feeling that the plastic has stained that color and will never, ever get gray. But here is a stabilizer well that has been halfway cleaned. And here's one that's been maybe a quarter of the way cleaned. And here's one that really hasn't been cleaned at all. So as you can see, there's a lot of soak and rinse, soak and rinse, but she's cleaning up real well. Down here, everything is unplugged. As you can see, this whole, there's a stainless steel crossbar that goes from here to here that houses all this wiring that I have bundled up here that goes to all of the heaters, pumps, floats, you name it, which I also have removed from the recirculation wells so that they can be scraped clean. Here's one that isn't so clean. Here's one that's clean. Uh, so I've done a little work. So anyway, the main circuit board, which isn't getting any prettier, I'll have to show you that again. Arg, 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 reach over there. Arg. Oh, it's going to be one of those. Well, good thing it's in the top drawer then. Uh, we have a burned up board. Luckily, luckily the, this afternoon I spoke to a gentleman uh, at PTS in Reading, Pennsylvania. And they apparently have a boneyard of film processors such as these, mini labs, etc. And he was able to get me that board for a very reasonable price. I'm going to send him some money tomorrow. And hopefully my gamble will pay off. I don't have much into this thing, but I uh, plan to get a lot out of it. Uh, let's see, along here there was foam. It was all rotten. I just went ahead and scraped it away. It's part of the light seal for the lid. Um, that's going to have to be replaced, but that's easy. It's just a piece of half-inch square foam that just goes all the way down there. And uh, nah, not much else to report other than that cleaning is going as... As expected. Oh, I found the cause of all the boogers. The boogers is like the stalactites of... Uh, kind of hard to see. But anyway, trust me that this whole thing is coated with red dirt dauber nests of chemicals. You can kind of see all that red crud there. Just imagine that times about 500. And everywhere else underneath the thing but um, I figured out the, the cause of it as you can see here this this tank here at the top which is the the uh, fix number one tank um, the overflow tube which is right there next to the red tab notice that the water level is above the overflow tube and yet water is not going down there that was the whole problem with this thing the fix number one overflowed which contaminated all of the wells next to it. Um, I shudder to think what the negatives that came out of this thing looked like towards the end. Um, but that is the reason for all the crud underneath there. I thought that this thing had a million leaks and that all these hoses and crud have to, had to be replaced, but it turns out, no, nope, no, nope, the guy never, never swabbed out the overflow pipe. So... Uh, those of you who have film processors with overflow pipes like that, 
pay attention to them, swab them out with a wire brush. Um, you can't be uh, you can't be too late on that because the crystals will form, especially if the overflow into the tube is infrequent. The fluid will run down there with the chemical in it, and then it will dry out because it hasn't been used in a while, and then the crystals will form. And uh, the less fluid actually goes down that pipe, the more likely the well, uh, you know, obviously what, whatever chemical it is has a lot to do with it, but, you know, the less liquid that continually goes down there, the more chance you have for crystals to set up. So that's obviously what happened here, and that's obviously why Fix has contaminated everything and why there's red crap everywhere all the way down to this end. I mean, it's just it's been in every tank. This thing is going to have to be completely... Cleaned and cleaned again and cleaned again and cleaned again before it will ever yield good prints. Or good uh, negatives, excuse me. Uh, in any event, the, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 the, the fix problem, um, is probably the only thing that's going to be really uh, a disaster. I mean, it's actually going to take me less time and effort to fix the burned out circuit board than it is to fix out the, f the f fix the fact that there is fix and everything. To fix the fix. Um, I should have known that's what was wrong with it because it says fix right there. And, and you know, hey, wow, okay. Um, so, and there you have it. Um, this thing's getting cleaner, as you can see. No more splatters on the hood, at least. And I've wiped down a few things and got all the parts out to soak. PTS in Reading, Pennsylvania is hooking me up with some parts. Um, highly recommend them uh, just for their customer service alone. And uh, all right, so um, I guess I'll do my next little update when the relay board comes in. Um, my next goal after I get everything cleaned up and to fix the pump that I burned out. By the way, these pumps say 24 volts DC and I thought okay um, I can power the pump with DC and it won't be a problem and I'll run one of these pumps and it'll help me clean out the tank because I can circulate fluid through it and you know da 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 da. So I grabbed my trusty 14 volt drill battery and I hooked it up to the pump and I proceeded to hear the capacitors in the bell housing of the pump go pop, pop, pop. And I said, ah, shit. Uh, that really sucks. Um, you know, it's a good thing I have two spare pumps so I can at least pop the circuit boards out and, and replace that or, you know, recap. I mean, you know, <laughs> hopefully it's just the capacitors and I can recap that pump and it'll be fine. But So anyway, my next goal, once I get the relay board in, uh, get this thing reasonably cleaned up, get up all the fixed boogers out of there, um, put all the wiring back, and hook everything up, um, except for probably whatever it was on this board, on the original relay board, whatever that SSR, that solid state relay right there, whatever that powers, and the one next to it, because they're both toast. Um, whatever they power is not going to get hooked up. That's going to get multimetered. Um, if there's a heater, I'm suspecting these are probably for heaters. Uh, if there's a heater or something like that that is shorted and is going to cause my next board to go up and smoke, then I want to know about it beforehand. So in any event, whatever whatever the, those SSRs power, they're going to be disconnected when, when I fire this thing up. So I'm going to fire it up with the new board in place and just run water through it. And we're gonna run water and water and water and we're gonna see that all the pumps work and we're gonna diagnose any problems long before we put any chemistry in this thing. Um, no point in wasting good chemistry because that's exactly what'll happen if you try to throw a chemistry into something that's still undergoing the repair process. Oh, God, I'm tired. All right. I've been working on this too long tonight. I can't even form a 
what's that thing where you put a bunch of words together? Yeah. Anyhow, um, I will talk to you when I've made some more progress. Bye-bye.